And we want to bring awareness and we want to ask everyone in your audience to please, if they could please help us um, contact their California senators and let them know that AB 1400, the bill which is uh, going to help us mm -hmm. quite a bit, um, to please support it. Uh, we, we do work that a lot of people probably wouldn't know we do. Uh, number one, simply because we're not in front of the cameras. We're not, you know, like Gary said, we're not in the, the spotlight. Right? Yeah, and, and, and we're not asking for a spotlight. We're just asking to be included so that our families don't have to endure the hardships that come when you get diagnosed with cancer, being that we're exposed to carcinogens and toxins at work. What sort of... Uh support is given to the firefighters right now. Right now on the books, 47 out of the 50 states have a what's called a presumptive law for firefighters. Basically the idea is if a firefighter comes down with cancer during the course of their career or even up to five years after they retire, that the state will step in and, and absorb some of the health care cost. There is nothing for a fire mechanic. And so the, the idea is you're already fighting fire or you're already fighting cancer so like medical leave and that sort of thing? Medical leave, your medical bills. Um, you know, if you don't have the appropriate insurance, you could lose everything. Um, when my mother, when I, when I was a kid, she passed away from cancer. Then the insurance companies are so vicious when it comes down to it that they took the house we were living in. We were homeless for three years. Oh my God. And so, yes, she wasn't a firefighter or a fire mechanic that wasn't the direct connection there, but being that I'm very familiar with how the insurance agencies work, I don't want to see anybody have to go through that.